Okay, a little bit of background where I'm at with this thing. 1986 Toyota truck, four-wheel drive, stock ASIN 22R carburetor, just rebuilt. You might be able to tell she's pretty clean. Uh, new jets, new idle mixture jet. That idle mixture screw is only about one and a half turns out, so it should be running pretty lean, even though you'll see in a second it's not. Uh, new silicone vacuum hoses most places i didn't get every single one but at least the ones associated with the carburetor here um are new it looks like maybe didn't get that one but pretty much all of them new fuel pump um i believe the fuel filter is also new uh you can see you've got a, a regulator and gauge here usually uh this is up closer to two psi it's a little closer to one now but i think when i um, try to start up here in a second. It will be closer to two. Um, new distributor, wires, plugs, new head gasket. Um, it's pretty much everything associated with this whole thing is uh, new. Uh, new carburetor, all that stuff. So on the wiring side of this thing, we've got this green harness here. Let me uh, just plug this back in because we are going to try to start it here in a second so do want this plugged in okay plugged in she's all happy um this fuel cut solenoid is definitely dead I hacked into the wiring harness here hooked it directly up to the battery which is measuring just over 13 volts no click nothing at all on this thing also lost the little gasket on the end here focus you fuck I'm um, not sure how that happens, but you can see new um, little gasket washer there from the rebuild kit. Anyway, this is dead. There's some conflicting info online about whether this is needed to run or not. Um, some people say it's just for anti-dieseling to cut off fuel when the um, when you shut off the engine. Other folks say that you absolutely need it to run. I'm not sure. Uh the electronic choke ohms out properly. It ohms out at about 20 ohms. Uh, the choke heater, the outer vent, just this wire here going to. Is it, no, let's go into this guy right here. That. Uh, I hear no click. So. I'm going to apply 12 volts to this wire directly through the connector. I hear no click. But that right there shouldn't be required to run. It certainly shouldn't cause the issues that I'm having. It's possible that this is causing the issues that I'm having. So I pulled it out. And what I've done, I suggested on, uh, I think, Yoda Tech or Marlin Crawler form, just put a bolt in its place. Just threaded that in there, nice and tight fit. Um but it doesn't seem to be making any difference at all. Still having the same issue. So, we'll start her up. You'll hear what the issue is. First of all, it's pretty loud because there's effectively, there's an exhaust leak, or a muffler leak. Okay, gotta get it, give it some gas to start it up. No foot on the gas it'll die i gotta give it a little bit of throttle yeah sorry don't mind that exhaust leak she's running a little bit rough i can't get out i might be able to get out enough in time to go run over there and uh, give it some throttle but probably not because the second you let your foot off the gas it'll start to sputter and die unless you give it a little gas a lot of gas Okay, so if I give it a little throttle and sit here like this, it'll pretty much idle all day. She's not running like the best. It's a little, little shaky, but uh, not bad. Second let off the gas, it'll want to die. Now, it's also running a little rich. 
adjusting the idle mixer screw it's not running as rich as it used to that seemed to help i got it turned almost all the way in um it's not as smoky as it used to be so that's good but i just can't get the thing to, to idle it just won't freaking idle the second i let off the gas That's that. So what is going on there? Um, again, I should also mention, I checked ground to the carburetor body, the housing of the carburetor. I get half an ohm with a Fluke 87V that I trust with my life. So effectively, no resistance from ground to the carb housing. So ground should be good. Voltage on the battery is good. 13 volts on the battery, just over 13 volts. Um, again, I'm hooking all this stuff directly up. I even tried starting it with this hook directly up to the battery, just bypass, you know, hacked into this thing. So the, the connector is bypassed. Still didn't work. This this is definitely shot. Um, so I guess the question is, is this likely what's causing the issue? Just this thing? If I replace this with one of the cheapo Chinese ones you can get on eBay, will it um, have a good chance of working? Or is there something else going on here? Anyhow, any help is greatly appreciated. Thanks.